Hey, Joe. Sam Hyde calling. Hey, man. How are you? Good. Beautiful Joe. Hello? Hey. You ever play that game? Do you, you ever play Beautiful Joe? Do I ever what? You ever play Beautiful Joe for PlayStation? Oh, the video game. Yeah, sure. That's what I call you. Beautiful Joe. Well, I'm flattered. Thank you. And we are enjoying that. I am. I am indeed. Very um, good. So, Sam, let me ask you a couple questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, do you consider yourself a member of the alt-right? Of adult night? Of the alt-right. What is the alt-right? Is that some sort of indie bookstore? Excuse me? Uh, it's, a, it's a political movement that you seem to interact with a lot on Twitter. A political movement? I don't get political. Okay. I keep it Wait, funny. I do comedy. I don't do politics, okay? I don't get up there and I'm not doing some sort of political thing. I do comedy. Okay. Uh, but you do seem on Twitter to tweet a lot about Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and, and Donald Trump. I don't manage my own Twitter account. Who manages your Twitter account? My assistant. Your sister manages your Twitter account. My assistant. I wouldn't have my sister manage my Twitter account. That wouldn't be very smart, now would it? Who's my assistant? Who's your assistant? I don't have one. So I guess that means I'm more important than you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> got him laughing. I got you laughing, Joe. Told you, comedy's what I do, bud. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. No, my assistant... Um, yeah, go ahead. Sam, let me ask you a question. On um, the MDE subreddit, yeah. at one point... You wrote that there were people at Adult Swim who didn't want World Peace to get made. Is yeah. that true? I don't manage the subreddit, so I wouldn't know anything about what's posted there. Okay. Could even you, maybe you could link me to it? I don't respond to that particular maybe. account as if it's you, and even though that account sometimes says Sam here or signs itself Sam. You yeah, know, I want I want to create the illusion that I'm interacting with my fans, but the reality is I never touch this uh, social media shit. But maybe you could link me to it, and I could see for myself what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I, I would expect your answer to this is going to be the same, but um. Am I am I that one-dimensional, Joe Bernstein? Am I that one-dimensional that you know exactly what I'm going to say next? Well, it's just following from your answer to the last question that you don't do anything on Reddit or on social media at all. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, so I was going to ask, uh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't have any knowledge of this, but the people who love your comedy group on, um, on Reddit spend a lot of time trying to divine your politics. I mean, they seem very interested in what your politics are. Um, and a lot of them have pointed to a post from last year, let me see if I can find it, in which you were, well, claiming to be you, and wrote, we're putting Western civilization on the altar as a sacrifice to white guilt because we're worried some frizzy-haired African <coughs> sexual will whack his finger at us. So that, is that you? <clears throat> You're talking about a post from a year ago and you expect me to know exactly the grammar and punctuation used and whether or not it was me? Quite frankly, I'd like to go through your emails and see what you said a year ago. That's not an email, it's a public post. <laughs> Listen, my assistant does a good job. I'll say that much. Yes. Yeah. The set, the, set, the set you did a couple years ago at the, the weird Twitter uh, comedy night in Williamsburg, yeah. where you kind of, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> did you believe that stuff that you were reading? The stuff that my assistant wrote for me? <laughs> yeah, the stuff your assistant 
room for you. My sister? You leave my sister out of this. Let me let me ask you let me ask you a question. I want to do let's let's do a little turn the tables on this interview. Um, okay. And I'm not I'm not busting your balls here. I want to know actually what's because I'm always interested in this in the uh, the media stuff. Why why do you work at BuzzFeed? Like why is that a? Why do I work at BuzzFeed? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. They give me a job. I ha I have this image in my head of all like journalism graduates that they want to, they, they, they want to be like, uh, Edward R. Murrows or whatever his name was and, and work at a very prestigious publication like the New Yorker or the New York times or something like that. Is that, is, is that fair to say that you're sort of like that? Like when you were in, did you go to, did you go to graduate school? Did you go to graduate school? Yeah, I did. I did. So you you've what you've gone to college for six six years? Well, college for four, and then grad school for a year. And when you were when you were going through that, did you have like visions in your in your mind of of working at a some some place like the New York Times or something? Oh, uh, I don't really know what I thought. I mean, I mostly applied to grad school um, because I didn't know what else to do. So I didn't, I don't think I really had kind of a set idea about what I would end up doing. Uh, I actually, I talked to someone who went to college with you, though. Uh, oh, yeah. And had some pretty interesting stuff to, to say. Okay. Um, you went to Carnegie Mellon, right? Uh, for a year, yeah. You only went for a year? Yeah, I went for a year. Okay, why did you leave? Uh, I went to RISD to chase after a girl, which was a mistake. Oh, okay. It was a bad idea. So, did you graduate from RISD? I graduated from RISD, yeah. What was your degree in? Uh, my degree was in film, animation, and video. I got a, a BA in uh, film, animation, video. Oh, interesting. So, who are your comedy, like, who do you look up to in comedy? Uh, hey, now, Joe, you're turning you're turning the tables back. Where I wanted to interview you for a little bit. <laughs> so, what, um, it, would you say that working for BuzzFeed, is it fulfilling work or is it just a job? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's like any job. Some days are good and some days are bad. Well, I mean, there's there's different, there's a, a gradient of how fulfilled people are doing doing jobs. It's, you know, a job isn't just a job. It's something that, uh, do, you, do you feel like you, the time you're spending there is, um, uh, is it good? Is it generative? Is it is it making you a a better person? Are you making the world a better place? Why are you so interested in my job, Sam? Well, why are you so interested in the color of, uh, in stuff that I said? Because you have a television show. Yeah, well, uh, you've got a fucking news article. So just answer the question. Okay. Alright, well, so I just to just to be totally clear on the stuff that uh, appears under your name on Twitter and on Reddit, and you're attributing that all to your assistant. Are you are you trying to duck my innocent, easy to answer question? Am I trying to duck your question? Are you you're you're avoiding my innocent and easy to answer question of whether the work that you're doing right now is is good, productive, generative, important, etc. Uh, I'm kind of more interested in, in the motivation behind that question. Uh, does it seem like I might have some sort of ulterior, some sort of weird motive to ask that? I want to know. I, I wonder what's going through uh, your head here. You're a, are you in your 30s? You live in New York? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's easy enough to find out. I'm 31. I live in New York. That's correct. Yeah. I, that was that was a guess. I didn't like Google you or something. Did you um, do you have a? Are you married? Do you have kids? Do you have plans to have kids? Oh, I don't want to get into my personal life with you, Sam. I, I don't know you, dude. I don't. I'm not. I you you stud you studied journalism for six years. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. But you strike me as sort of a pussy, like. You've got to be willing to get into it with people, don't you? To to ask effective questions and. Well, 
I just want to uh, make sure it's important for the piece that you are, in fact, attributing all the writing under your name on Reddit and on Twitter <laughs> to your assistant. I just want to make sure that that's what you're doing. How, how am I supposed to have any respect for you when you're being such a pussy right now? Well, okay, I mean, I'm just, because we're writing an article about your show, I just want to um, give you a chance to... Dude. To say, you know, what that's about, or, um, you know, if, if you are just going to attribute it to your system. You're letting me, you're really letting me down, man. You're a fucking cracker, Joe. I'm going to start calling you Cracker Joe. Because you're a dry, plain, boring cracker. Okay. All right, Sam. Man, uh, I've never been so let down. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, nothing. Never mind. Don't worry about it. All right. So I just want to, like, you know we're going to publish it, so I just want to, like, be, t you know, just totally straightforward with you. Do you want to attribute this to your system? I want to be totally straightforward with you. You will, mm -hmm. you will never... In a million years, get a job at a publication as prestigious as the New York Times. That will that little pipe dream is never going to happen. You will be blogging and tweeting until you are dead, and nobody will care. Nobody will ever read anything you wrote and say to themselves, Man, this is important! I need to know more about this! Nobody's ever going to read a page that you wrote and say to themselves, Damn, I'm glad I read that. They're just going to, it's just fucking popcorn. You write the mental equivalent of popcorn. And you will never get a job at the New York Times. They'll look at your resume and they'll go, Hmm, this guy's a fucking idiot. What do you think about that? Thank you for talking. I appreciate it. Uh, even though you sound kind of worked out. One more thing. <laughs> I bet when you were a kid, your parents called you dumb. They probably called you a blockhead. Because you're a blockhead, Joe. You don't pay attention in school, Joe. I can't. I, I just have trouble hearing you. Because <laughs> you're screaming very loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Alright, buddy. Peace. Poor guy. It's life when you work at BuzzFeed. Folks, episode four is tomorrow night. It's fucking good. It's really good. You gotta see it. AdultSwim.com slash schedule where you can see the time and your location. It's going to be damn good. And that's not bullshit. I'll tell you straight up. Episode 5 is going to be a bit wonky. You might not like episode 5. Episode 4 is going to be hot boys. Juvenile. Get money is army. Better get a navy. Okay? And episode 6 is going to be off the chain. But episode four is the one to watch right now, tomorrow, night, adultswim.com slash schedule.